Freddie had an unusual cause of injury to his infraalveolar nerve, a rare form of uh, tumor known as a schwannoma that invaded the right side of his mandible. This lesion extended from the second molar to the sigmoid notch involving the entire right ramus of the mandible. Uh, after going to the dentist, the dentist says, well, it looks like it might be your wisdom teeth coming out. We should do an x-ray. After going into the x-ray machine, a few minutes later, the dentist comes back and says, Freddie, I think you need to go see a specialist. Uh, the specialist says, Freddie, well, it's a tumor. Um, we don't know exactly what kind or if it's malignant or not. More likely it's not, but nevertheless, a biopsy needs to be done. I, I feel very comfortable with the doctors. They explain to me everything. Um, in simple terms where I understood them and I knew what I was up against and uh, my response to that I said I was referred to you because they say you guys are the best. The way We have a defect of a nerve. We have several options for repair. Uh, primarily we would like to consider uh, a direct repair if possible, but if that's not possible without tension on the nerve repair site, we consider nerve graft and we have several options, including uh, the sural nerve or a cadaveric allograft. Following uh, a discussion with the patient, we decided to excise the tumor and perform an immediate reconstruction using a bone graft and a nerve graft. At surgery, we identified a large schwannoma intimately involving the right infraalveolar nerve. Following tumor resection, a five centimeter advanced nerve graft was placed between the proximal and distal nerve stumps. We have been using the Avance uh, cadaveric allograph now for several years with excellent clinical results and uh, this option avoids donor site morbidity associated with uh, autograft options. Freddie has done extremely well since his surgery. He showed signs of neurosensory recovery within uh, eight weeks following the repair. When I speak, uh, I run a retail business so I'm constantly engaging with customers. Uh, so drooling or, or uh, maybe slurring uh, when I spoke was a, uh, I thought it was going to be an issue and the fact that I wasn't having that issue or I'm not having that issue um, is big for me.